Well, you're watching Morning Live. Now, Statistics South Africa continues to break down the census 2011 data. The statistician general, Badile Hotla, released the country's low-level geographic areas in Port Elizabeth yesterday. The data is expected to help councillors, city planners, policymakers, advocacy groups and ordinary South Africans to create a better understanding of their communities. He joins us now as a statistician general. Monghadile Hotla, good morning to Dada you. Dada listeners, good morning. Welcome. So this is called the place name results. Yes, indeed. Okay, so l let's just explain this. Place name would be, we're now in Auckland Park. Mm -hmm. So is that a place? That's a place, yes. Okay, so Auckland Park. And then what were you looking for in Auckland Park? Uh, well, you'll be looking at the same variables that you collected in the census such okay. as uh, the number of people the inc their incomes uh, the services such as water sanitation and so on okay uh, so th it will be reported for all the 75 variables that were covered in all the 75 census. questions all 75 that questions there. that yes okay yeah. mm -hmm. just looking at the slide that we've got here mm -hmm. so there are main places so these are towns and cities in south africa yes indeed that's 14,039. 14,039. In, for instance, where we were in Port Elizabeth, that will be Kwasakele 1, uh, 14,039. And then below it, there will be a place like uh, Silvertown, which where we launched the results, which will be part of the 22,108. Which is a sub-place. Which is a sub-place, yes. And then beneath the sub-place, there's a smaller uh, area. There's a smaller area, which is there are about 84,907. And then there are enumeration areas, the, yeah. the clusters of areas that uh, enumerators went to a, to, to, to count. They get aggregated upwards, folded upwards uh, to constitute. Uh, okay, this, I want uh, to just uh, try and understand it. So, mm. if you're in Soweto, mm. ne? and then Soweto, Soweto would be a main place. Soweto would be the main right. place, yes. And then a sub-place would be Pimville. Pimville, uh, Rockville, yeah. all those other That's villes. Yes. And then a small area is uh, Zone 1 Pimville. Pimville, yes indeed. Zone and then in under zone one there might be something else which is uh, the enumeration which, which will be about uh, between the enumeration area and this other eighty four thousand. it will be okay that zone one will be part of uh, of that one eighty four thousand nine hundred seven. okay so in these areas you are then looking for you're looking for sanitation yeah sanitation what does this tell us i mean does it confirm this historical information so if you were to compare let's take what we we're saying so you're in pimville mm -hmm. and then you are here in auckland park sanitation would be better in auckland park than in pimville probably it would be yeah. uh, the, the, those are some of the expectations but yeah. uh, there are smaller areas when you drill down you may find that uh, there are areas like uh, when we were in kwazakele yesterday yes uh, and in um, uh, Silvertown, you'll find that 98% of the people there didn't have toilets, uh, or rather had, had a had bucket system and it's 96% wow. in 2011. Okay. So these are the kinds of statistics that you get across time and within okay. an area. So, so with the bucket toilets, as mm. an example, so this, this, this information... Mm. Uh, you can actually just put out a map of South Africa and say places that have got bucket toilets. Yes, indeed. In red. So you, you, you can there, actually you locate there, them. Read there. It, it sharpens the, the pencil, it sharpens the marker, it sharpens uh, the articulation of the issues that communities face. Yeah. It gives power to the communities. So it allows communities to be more active citizens. There's power in the hands of the citizens yeah. themselves. But also with government. I mean, it enables it, government better to understand whether you are performing on your, or you're not performing. Absolutely, but uh, it transfers the power of that observation yeah. to the citizens okay. so that citizens can actively uh, engage government rather than the one way where government uh, owned the knowledge and yeah. the power. But now it transfers the power to the citizens. What is the significance of this information? How, how does it help us going forward? A government draws policies. For instance, the National Development Plan says in 30 years the following things should have happened. Yeah. It enables part citizens and government to partner in this journey yeah. and then address those things that are not doable and those things that can be doable yeah. and holding each other to account, both citizens and government. There's nothing as powerful as small area information in allowing that process. For instance, in uh, Silvertown, you remember that they were okay. refusing to be counted. Johan, uh, let's just try and look at some more of the graphics so that perhaps we can, we can structure our conversation to speak to the graphics and, and the viewers get a sense uh, of some of the work that has come through. So 
this information comes from the census conducted by Stats SA in 2011, as you can see there. Uh, obviously, this is information that we all know. So uh, provinces, This yes. hasn't changed. No, no, no. It's, uh, we are just uh, breaking down the information <laughs> into smaller chunks. Okay. Yes. So yeah. District municipalities. Is, uh, 44 and uh, metro municipalities, 8 and the local municipalities. This was as at 2011. That tested 2011. In 2013, this has changed. Has uh, it? Well, it will have changed, uh, but, uh, well, we have a, a program of service that we run to track the changes, but we can only track it yeah. at higher levels, such as province, uh, okay. not lower. Okay. Census gives you lower level information. So that's uh, 266, 274, is that correct, my mathematics? Uh, that's, uh, that's 44 plus that, that's 50, Two. 52 and... Uh, uh, okay. uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's 30, 70, 278. So 278, it's 278, 278 entities. Uh, that municipalities, I mean, yes, district, yeah. metro, and yeah. local mm, municipalities. Mm, 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 mm. And then let's just see a couple more graphics, perhaps one or two of them. So this one we've already talked Talk about. Talk about, yes. Yeah. An example mm, of what mm, it is. Mm, mm. And then, yeah, let, let, let's see two more, Johan, please, if you will. Okay. Mm. Is that it? Okay, so you've got uh, presumably a a statistician's wrap of this so so a an executive summary of it which people can access and read uh, yes of course they can also drill down draw maps show images of what exactly is happening aerial image of the area yeah. uh, and then of course uh, a statistical representation in map form yeah uh, that actually talks it goes much better really when you look at that yes yeah what's, what's your website address www.statssa.gov.za dot gov dot z dot g o v dot z yes yes yeah so you can go to this website and drill down yourself thank you very much Mungadi thank you very much joining us here on morning live on SABC two talking about statistics main place place name results that's the statistics thereof also coming up we'll be talking about protecting the legacy thank you very much to Bonso Fambe who's our floor manager just passing the book.